Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys have had a good fucking week in VIP and premium. And if you're not in there, then you should watch this whole video because I'm going to show you the amount of profit that we made. We made something like over 40%, 44.5% to be exact, in VIP this whole month. No trading weeks were losses. We actually every single week made profit. Some weeks made 19%, some weeks made 20%, and some weeks made 5%. However, I'm gonna show you all of the trades and a few of the trading breakdowns as well for this video. If you are new to trading Forex, then please, I know it can be difficult watching someone look at charts, but try and get an understanding of where I should get my entries. And if you guys can't be bothered to do that, then in the description down below, we've got a VIP bot and a premium bot. Click on TJFX bot, slash start, look at the packages. We've got a 24.99 super sell, which I started on Saturday. It's now Sunday making this video. I'm gonna end it tonight when markets open. So make sure to get in there on the 24.99 because it'll be reoccurring 24.99 every single month instead of 44.99 so it's a bargain if you're new to trading as well i've got a link in the description that will take you over to telegram this telegram group is free trades it's 2000 plus people check it out and we've got discord with nearly 3k members so make sure to check out as well enough with the introduction let's talk about the trades let's get to the breakdowns and yeah let's just see how much profit we actually made let's go baby Okay guys, so we're going to talk about the 1852 sales that we caught in VIP and also premium. In premium, we held TP1 and TP2, smashed over 300 pips on in the premium. And in the VIP, we smashed TP1 and then closed TP2 for another 100 pips. And I'm just going to talk about the actual trades that we took, took place. I'm going to show a screen recording right here so you can see the whole VIP slowly on all the trades I've taken. You know, full transparency. Um... I've got nothing to hide, you know, you can look in Discord profits as well, you can see the insane profits, and I'm going to talk about gold real moves right now. So, when we're looking at this trade, the reason why I went for 1852 sales, and I put this on TikTok, Instagram, everything like that, before the trade even took place, and the reason for this is because how I trade gold, and I explained this in my last video with the gold strategy, where we saw highs at 1878. From that wick out, you look at the wick out and you go all the way down to lower high. Lower high is 1850. Therefore, we're going to see some sort of 1850 wick out, which happened right here at 1854, which is the reason why we call 1852 sales here. Right here, explain. 1850, it didn't even touch her, so luckily. However, 1852 wick out, bang, wicked out. Then it absolutely sold off and melted all the way down to 1780. Now I'm going to also talk about the reason why I went to 1718 and where gold you should see it reject to. Because gold will go back up to 1842 slash 1848 before selling again. Crazy gold moves happening. 2022 is going to be an insane year. But the reason for the gold sales was because of that wick out at 1815. Using the daily resistance. Using that wick out at 1878 as well. As resistance and as you saw right here gold absolutely sold off all the way down all the way bearish when gold sells it sells hard and as you can see it went to 1780 now when you look at 1780 I just want to show you this this is kind of crazy I said to this in discord VIP chatting when you join my VIP you can get in a discord chatting role and speak to all of the members and I explained this in there as well I was like no guys it's gonna to go to 1718 and then go to 1800 for a retest which is up here and then we shall see what happens on Monday morning when markets open. This is why I'm doing the sale as well. Because we're going to make a shitload of money on Monday such Tuesday. And if you look on the daily right here from the wick out of 1853. As you can see gold wicked out 1853 then went bullish to retest from the 1878 sales. Now from 1753 that daily wick went from 1753 to where? 1718. Exactly the same as the cells using the wick out bang like that i don't know you shouldn't use this type of tool but as you can see right here 17 18 touch reject look at that like guys trading really isn't difficult when you start like get a strategy in your head and start seeing the market directions and as you can see from the wick out of 1753, where it went from 1753 all the way to 1854, so it's 1853. Now, we went all the way down, sold all the way to 1718, which is the lower high wick out from 1753, previous high, high, bang. And I don't want to confuse things here, but when you actually look at this, from 1878, wicked out, 
has to go up again now. Bullish market to collect orders at 1850. Sells at 1852, retesting all the way back down to that previous 1753 wick out. Now we should see gold buys all the way back up to 1842, so that's 1848, and then catch the sales, which I will catch. Probably will be 1848 that it will sell from. So I will make sure to catch that. But as you can see, you know, beautiful, beautiful sales. And it was a selling market. I did actually enter some buys. I took on Friday, like minus 4%. Stupid of me. Um, I was thinking it was going to respect 800 level. There's a few levels where I thought it was going to respect. Um, however, it wasn't to be. But I, with my trading strategy, you know, I risk 1%. My R to R is insane. So 20 pips isn't a lot for gold. So if you don't get the right direction, you're going to get stopped out. However, when you do get the trade running in profit, you start seeing the R to R take place. And R to R is called risk to reward. Basically talking, you have a 20 pip SL and a 40 pip take profit. If you do, how many 20 is going to 40 is two. So you work that out. That's 2% return from that trade. Now, that would be a nice 2%, risking 1%, then you got 2%. And as you can just see, you know, we could have held gold for about something like 700, 800 pips. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, further down the line in my trading career, I will be holding this to 1780 with my psychology. That was one of my targets, but I was like, I was kind of thinking there's just no way in two days it's, it's going to do that, you know. And, um, you know, in two or such three days, it did that. That's something that I need to work on with my psychology in order to be able to make maximize my profits for the market direction that I see. You know, market direction is easy to actually understand. Um, but there's a lot to do with trading. For example, in my VIP, you know, when I get to 100 pips, I close that 100 pips because gold likes to range in like 100 pips channels. So, therefore, I like to take my profits, but it's knowing when to hold when it does break. And this is exactly what happened at 1852, which was crazy. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sales. And obviously, throughout that week, we caught some insane trades. But I just wanted you guys to understand where in this market, you know, when it sells, it's got to sell hard. And there's a lot of things that you can actually do to understand the sell. For example, on the daily for when we sold from 1852 all the way down to 1850. If you see the next day, you know, Tokyo opens and we come to 1821. The reason why it's going to continue to sell is because if you look that we haven't even touched the bodies of the previous, you know, the dailies at 1830 or even 1810. And for it to proper retest, it's either got to touch the lower high here or the body here. And as you can just see, you know, that day we just continue to sell, 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 sell. Now, when you look, same again, daily ends here at 17.90 now. We know it's going to continue to sell because it's got to go to the body at 17.90 minimum. But what did it do? It went to, it went past 17.19, so we're still in a bearish market, which is why I didn't actually trade. After I got stopped out 18.01, which I put on my short channel, make sure to check that out, link in the description. I upload all of the trades I take for VIP on there, so it is important to be subscribed to that channel with notifications on. But as you can see, you know, we're still on a selling downtrend, which is why I did take three, 4% loss after I caught these big sales because I was eager to get into the buys because I knew there was going to be some insane profit. But you got to understand when gold sells, it sells hard and you just got to believe in your overall market direction in terms of have big points in the market where it's going to go to here to here and then you can utilize them big targets that you've got to trade in. You, you get what I mean to day trading. That's basically what I do. I look for market direction and I look to see where gold's going to go to. For example, 1780 touch. Now I'm thinking gold's going to go up to 1842. So we're going to see a bullish market all the way back to 1842 slash 1848. And then we're going to catch big sales again. However, just because we're bullish doesn't mean that we're going to get some retest. We will get some retest. For example, if you see on the 1H, around here, 1785, possibly possibly retest right there now obviously we have to see what happens markets are closed right now so i can't actually you know do a full analysis on it on the buyers we need to see what happens when it shapes up but 1829 is another target such so 1830 so for when it's sold off down here on the bearish 1848 sold right here 1830 is another target for buyers a buy target so for example when we when we catch buyers down here We'll be aiming for 1830, probably bounce, retest off 1800, then go past 1800 to 1842, so 1848. 
and then you catch sells again you know you're going to be looking where it's going to find resistance so i believe that we'll go to 800 you know touch 800 wick down again then wick back up to 8 and 14 go from 8 and 14 sell a bit go back up and then go to 8 and 30 and then so forth you know obviously talking riddles at the moment because there's no trade actually on and if you can see you know with gold that week i traded it was in a ranging ranging channel right now so like you know that gold is just going to keep going in and out in and out of profit which is why i said to you guys at the start of this video you know i closed for 100 pips here and there because you can believe that a trade is going to come in however it always wicks out it always wicks out because it wants to trap all the retailers you know retailers selling here aim 48 not thinking about the real real market direction and the real market target they're getting in for sales here they're holding they're holding they still think you know touch 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 bounce bounce it's not coming in it's not going to go long it's not going to go bullish and then all of a sudden you know you see it touch here at 1829 1829 wick right here for resistance collected orders which is why my thought process is why i've closed these trades hand on heart this is why i close these trades because i was thinking you know i wanted it to sell off but then you've got to be realistic and sometimes you have to second take your own analysis meaning it's it looks bullish you know why would why would it reject here perfect indication that it's still bullish marking it's still got to wick up so there you go you take your profits you wait for the wick out and then you get your entries in and then once you start setting off like this you move sl entry for a risk free trade ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that is how simple trading actually is you know you just got to be realistic don't be caught up in your own analysis and you know you you got to trust your gut sometimes you know you got you guys might be able to relate when you trade in you have a gut feeling you're like i want this to come in but i just feel like it might not and that is something that you need to take control of with your trading style and your decision making in trading you know you can't always believe in your analysis you've got to sometimes be realistic of the direction and here's another thing 1848 wick out right here we haven't actually touched any of the lower highs from the previous wick out therefore you know you're thinking 1848 fake wick out is going to get people didn't sell off here so therefore it's still bullish wicks out and then sells off and obviously you know when it does sell off from a big market direction gap for example the 1852 it's going to sell off hard for a massive massive resell still bullish it's still a bullish market 1753 wick out still bullish 1678 touch couldn't break 1720 touch touch bullish 1878 wick out 1753 went to 1852 then sold could this 1852 such 1854 sell be a bullish market meaning you know we're in a new year yearly direction last year was bearish went from 2077 all the way down to 1678 However, failed to break this main support at 1678 here. The 1753 wick out just makes me think that gold's bullish this year. And that's why I'll be catching buyers back up all the way. However, 1852, beautiful, beautiful sales. And obviously, I've shown a screen recording of all of the VIP trades taken. I make sure to get yourself in. Like, honestly, we do pop off. You need to be uh, understand risk management. You need to use a risk management app called Stinu or one online. Obviously, I prefer Stinu because it's on the mobile. However, once you know your lot size for your size account, you don't really need to change it. Um, always keep it the same. Be consistent with trading. You know, when your trade starts like breaking down and uh, going into nice profits, move yourself to entry. Avoid taking big risks because that is another key thing in trading. A lot of people hold their trades out. Minus 60, 70, 80 pips. I don't know why any traders would send 60, 70, 80 pip SLs. But if you've got a 20 pip SL, you don't hold that trade. You don't continue to hold that trade because that's where you get emotional. And then that's where you start losing your money. And that's just facts, you know. As you can see throughout my... I don't put all my trades in my trading view. But, what the, but the things that I do, when I do it, I do it for my own market direction. And what I mean by this is, see right here. All of the trades that we enter are either wick out or sniper entries. And that's the craziest thing, you know. We're never really hitting SLs. And if we do, you know, you take it on the chin and you go again. The best thing about VIP is that it's $24.99. We're hitting insane trades. You know, people are flipping £100 accounts to £500. So it, I, the reason why I did $24.99 Supercell is because I have a lot of members 
who say, you know, they can't afford 44.99 and that's fine. However, 24.99, I just thought, you know, it's time to take over this game. It's time to show people what I'm actually about. And we nearly got 400 members in there. We nearly grew 200 people in a week. And they're all eating. If you check the Discord profits, check it out. Beautiful stuff in there. You'll see that members even post their losses in there, which is quite funny. But I, I respect that. You know, transparency is key. You don't want to be that guy who only shows their profits. So check out the Discord profits. You know, we make sure people post their losses as well as their proof of winning trades. But yeah, it's been an insane month for me, January 2022. Great start to the month. Now we're looking into February now. Going into it, positive mindset. Nowhere gold's going to go. And yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing for it. So make sure to check out the 24.99 Supercell. It's been your boy TJ. Much love on the content. Much love on the videos. I'll make sure to keep being consistent because, you know, I've been focusing on a lot of other stuff recently, like a new prop firm that we're launching very soon. That's a little hint. I can't talk much about it. But yeah, we've got our own prop firm being launched. We've done a deal with the brokerage who are going to help us fund these live accounts as well as my own money. So yeah, it's going to be insane. Big things coming for 2022. Let's go, baby.